Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. InshaAllah we have some questions for tonight and <coughs> always uh, contact help me at nurmuhammad.com uh, also on Facebook if you can be a supporter of the page and that, that brings uh, support to the page and alhamdulillah Allah address you, bless you and take away every type of difficulty for spreading the love and supporting those who spread the love and tahzim and nabi inshaAllah. As Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Sayyidi from Mauritius, we understand that guidance is from the soul, does guidance still come after death? Forgive us for our shortcomings. Sure, inshaAllah. InshaAllah, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. The ocean of guidance is, is a very deep reality that it was an ocean of guidance before in the world of souls, that we have been guided in the world of souls. Alam al Qur'an, somebody was teaching us. But then khalaq al insan and then Allah created a form. So there was a teaching of Holy Qur'an in Malakut. Alama means that there must be one who's teaching and one whom is learning. And Allah the one whom taught Sayyidina Muhammad that's why we say Nabi al-Ummi, not unlettered but between Alif and Meem there is no one, not an angel, not a prophet, no one capable of teaching Sayyidina Muhammad except Allah directly. And that's why Allah describes Shadeed al-Qawwa, he's been taught by one whom is shadeed, immense in power. That's a, maybe a more humble understanding of Allah I can't even imagine and fathom that. So that knowledge and that teaching has always been. Then Allah created the form and already the track was laid, the destiny was written and that's why the pillars of Islam and the pillars of faith that you have to believe and accept whatever destiny is written. So Imam Ali Salaam whatever your faith, oh the echo, <laughs> whatever your faith is in life face it. Whatever Allah has written for us we have to face it, there's no running from it. There's no hiding from it, you can't go and hide. So it means that that guidance, that, that isharat has always been coming. One of our existences is on this earth. How many do we have? That opens another subject, we won't ask questions about that. When Allah make something from the world of light, it's eternal and you have always been. From beginning to the end it was created. It's one ocean of light and that your existence has always been and will always be until Allah brings down all of these energies and these realities. One existence we have upon this earth, then Allah guides the soul whom He guided the soul of what their destiny will be upon this earth. And when this, that's why the journey if you write a line, the journey of malakut is eternal. So that already answered your question but just to give you an understanding. Then you write another line, right? Line called eternity, da'im. You, Allah makes your soul from the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah So you have an eternal reality. Then a small line called this mulk, this small little line 
in the spectrum of your eternity. And this is your physicality today. So what do you think the difference is? A huge line of your reality and the little line of this dunya. So of course your experience on this little line of dunya, you come and you went and Allah says, in the spectrum of your light it's but as if one day your eternal journey is so long for you to understand this time you spent on earth is as if one day or half a day. Why Allah says like that? To understand that the vastness of your existence is so long, so large, so, so huge that this day is like this earth, this life, this suffering, these years that you spend is but like a half a day. So that to see the perspective, this is small and this is huge. People live this life as if this line is huge and eternity is small and they lost themselves. As Allah is just saying, you're giving up this huge line of existence for this but one flash of, a, of an instant and you made it to be huge. Shaitan comes onto this earth to teach people, no, no this little line of your life in the spectrum of your existence, make it huge. Like you'll be living forever and that's why Allah described they want to live a thousand years because shaitan is fooling them to make their existence longer. They want to put the blood of people upon their skin to look rejuvenated, every type of satanic. Don't think these are new, there's nothing new under the sun. How many nations have come and pharaonic demonic entities have come and also convince those people bathe in blood, bathe in indecency, in, in do all these indecent acts, make the suffering of people so that you can what? They want to live longer. They think they'll do these horrific things and rejuvenate their physicality, there is no living longer. It's but a speck in the spectrum. So most definitely when you die the whole existence is now coming, another set of understandings are coming. There's Hayat al-Barzaq, there's a life within the grave and many awliyaullah their souls are able to teach those whom have passed. And many of their best students are the ones whom their body has passed and their souls are present and they give their spirituality to the shaykh and to the tariqah. Means that once the body goes Allah has these representatives that can go to graveyards and they don't worship the dead, they call the dead. If a Malik al-Mawt goes to them and says, Allah is offering you, do you want to be of service what you did not accomplish in your dunya and that your light is not of a frequency of any value? Do you wish to be of service and Allah grant you His eternity? There must always be a deal, Allah not giving anything for free. And Allah's rahmah is beyond His punishment. So there's always got to be a deal, you don't just hand it out. He sends a representative to the grave as a rahmah that you didn't achieve it, I want to give it to you, you're created out of love. But be of service. Those they come with no nafs into service. They come in the associations and in the energy of the association they have no nafs and they build their energy at an immense speed. They do all their zikrs, all their awrads and their lights become like stars. So that what? That their Support in the association makes the energy to become stronger and stronger. And in last days Allah opens more and more of that reality because it becomes a najat for those who are living. Becomes a, a help for those whom are living that, Ya Rabbi we're coming under more and more attack. As they reach their guidance, as they reach their rijal and their sainthood because no more nafs, their lights are all around protecting. 
And that's all we can say on that subject, inshaAllah. <coughs> Mm. Sayyidi, can you please share more about the guidance to, from the soul, the role of the Shaykh's Nazar, and what blocks the servant from receiving the signal? <clears throat> I think we, we talked about that last night, mm. that the, the frequency Allah wants to send is on an encrypted channel. And the concept that they give to us so to understand their technology is Wi-Fi. That there's a heavenly Wi-Fi broadcasting from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad salamun hiya hatta mithla al-fajr. So there's a talk on the website and on YouTube that Prophet light and the photons of the light of Sayyidina Muhammad is the power that dressing entire created universe. And that sun is a pistol star in the center of all suns and all universes. That photon is coming and dressing everything it touches and with it the angels and the ruh are being given their coordinates when they move through that photon of what it hits and gives all the coordinates to that creation that it touches. Means it tells the leaf how it will rise and how it will go down. Tells the ant where its sustenance will be, how? Because they're all on a Wi-Fi. Everything has a connection to the Divine. Not anything is random for us to understand as our technology is growing, we're getting closer to that understanding. If they should turn everything on Wi-Fi and make your car, make everything on Wi-Fi, then imagine a day if someone cut the Wi-Fi, your car would stop, nothing can happen. And this is for why Allah wants to know, is, is there something that you can do without my qudra reaching to you, without my power reaching to you? You can't breathe, you can't move, it's the energy that make you to move, to breathe, to get your coordinates, your guidance, your sustenance, everything flowing from La ilaha illallah into the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah wasallam. And by what was bi idni rabbihim min kullil am. By permission of Allah it comes to the malaika wa ruh. And by permission of Allah every am, kull, kull, every that you can't take anything out of this when Allah says, kul. You can't say, no not this, no Allah say, kul. Every order is moving through that Wi-Fi. Now for darajats and to rise Allah destined for those whom He guided, now go to these turuqs if it's been destined for you to go into Naqshbandiya. Then Mawlana Shaykh has been given a wazifa and a daily recitation. Don't add to it, don't subtract it, don't say, can I do this, can I do that because it's like a Wi-Fi. If you add an extra letter in your Wi-Fi key, you're out, you can't log in. It has to be exact. Imagine their encrypted key that is so encrypted shaitan can't enter it. There has to be an ijazah, permission, everything. Otherwise shaitan would try to hack their Wi-Fi and it's so encrypted that shaitan can't encrypt it. But shaitan attends the associations to take their uloom and their knowledges. And that's why he said shaitan is the best student of all of them because he sits and he believes everything the shaykhs are teaching. And he knows from what they're teaching what's going to be happening. For the student hears a reality and doesn't believe it. The shayateen they hear it and they completely believe it and they begin to plan whatever plan they have as a result of it. But they plan and Allah plans better and the truth should set you free inshaAllah. <coughs> Sayyidi, is contemplation the way of getting in touch with our soul? 
A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, yes. Help me at nurmuhammad.com that, that what we call tafakkur to contemplate, what American Western people call meditation and what agitated people on the internet call that there's no meditation in Islam. <laughs> what the heck, where did they come from that? How did they get that? Everything is based on contemplation and Allah throughout Qur'an said, nobody knows except the people of tafakkur. Why? Because their existence was to stop and to contemplate. Their existence, contemplate the reality, the light within their heart contemplate their bad characteristics and take muhasaba and accounting of themselves, our life is all based on that. Once they entered into tafakkur and contemplation then there's tadhakkir. Excuse my Arabic, tadhakkir, right? Tadhakkir is what? Now to remember. Once you stopped tafakkur is to contemplate, oh I'm going to slow down a second, there's a deep reality. Tadhakkir for the one who did tafakkur, why? Because now he, Allah wants you remember in the world of light when I taught you this. Tadhakkir means now you will begin to remember alam al-Qur'an. What Allah taught your soul, not Allah directly but through whatever channel Allah taught you from Atiullah wa Atiya Rasul wa Ulul Amri Minkum, who were the Ulul Am that they took and they still take in the world of light from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and they have their associations in the heavens. Now still you're under their tarbiyah and associations now. In, in the world of malakut. Tadhakkir is then, are you remembering? Wake up. So like sci-fi movie when the matrix, when the shaykhs come and teach you and teach you and teach you the haqq of this dunya, haqq of this dunya and you keep wanting to fall asleep and ignore it and not uh, listen to it and say you're being enslaved by their system. You're being enslaved by their credit cards, you're being enslaved by your, your interest and your homes and all the free money they give to you, you're being enslaved by this desire to, to conquer dunya. Once you begin to believe you're being enslaved, 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 you're not supposed to conquer this dunya. You were supposed to conquer the heavens, you got unplugged. You got unplugged from their system and what shaitan was trying to feed into your maqs, into your head. If you get unplugged then mean now your heart came alive because they're not playing with your head anymore and you see now this is a delusion, beyond even illusion. People are deluded here, they're crazy. When this shuts off this opens. When this opens tadhakkir then Allah says, now remember, remember your paradise reality. Remember that you were sitting in the presence and you are sitting in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Remember the knowledges that Prophet taught to you. Remember the love that Prophet instilled within your being and you came to the earth and became heedless. And that's why Allah described they are oppressors to themselves. How could you be an oppressor if it's not an issue of oppression that… You, oppression is that you, you, you knew a truth and you didn't stand up for it. Not that you didn't know it and you don't support it but that you knew a truth and you did nothing to gain access to it and you have oppressed your reality. Because oppression is not that you know there's nothing happening wrong and, and, and it's just nothing. The secret and the word of, of zulmah and oppression is that you knew the truth and you didn't stand for it. Because if you don't know anything and you don't stand for anything it doesn't mean anything. But tadhakkir is that you knew this reality 
in which your soul was in that presence and you came to dunya and you didn't think about it, you didn't care for it, you didn't remember it. We pray that Allah dress us, bless us and guide us, I think people are hungry. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.